Yo, what's going on everyone? It is your boy X, Big Chris X. And today I have some uh, Black Ops gameplay for you guys. Uh, right here is uh, me using the Galil, uh, playing a bit on a map that I completely forgot even though the name of it just like recently just popped up. Um, yeah, I'm still using my Turtle Beaches to record this, so please don't mind the quality once again. Uh, but anyway, uh, three things I want to talk about. One, I'm going to cover really quick. One, uh, there's a teammate in here doing like a glitch where it looks like he's like swimming or whatever. Some stupid, stupid shit like that. So, um, and that's really annoying. Like he literally at one point just spins around the whole goddamn game. <sighs> Such a disappointment. But yeah. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about is uh, how I think I'm going to do in Black Ops 2. Um, from this gameplay, if if Black Ops 2 plays kind of like this one, like Black Ops the original, I'm gonna do fine. <laughs> and I, what I mean by that is like I don't know, like like the moment I hop between Modern Warfare 3 and this one, I just feel beastly. I feel invincible. It's probably you know it's probably because it takes a, a slight m longer to uh, kill someone, but I don't know, it's weird, it's like I feel like I know what I'm doing, you know? I feel a lot more confident when I'm moving around, stuff like that. And I mean, it's weird, because you think you wouldn't really change between CODs, but I don't know, I just, Modern Warfare 3 and this one are two totally different ones, and I didn't see that little prick hiding back there. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, you know, I'm just excited. I want to, uh, get my hands on Black Ops 2 already. Uh, unfortunately, there is no COD XP this year. A uh, subscriber told me, or someone who watched one of my videos, I'm not exactly sure. And it really sucks, because I was really wanting to go. Maybe they'll have one in the future, though. And uh, I'll be able to go to that one to play COD 10 or some shit like that. But, uh, yeah, looks like I'm not going to be playing it now. Uh, anyway... Uh, so yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna do pretty good. I, I don't know. It's just like uh, I don't think it'll be a major like shift because I don't really play Modern Warfare 3 like that anymore. I play every now and then, but it's not like a a serious commitment type of thing. Especially because like I just rage so quickly when it comes to um, Modern Warfare 3. It just easily, instantly gets me pissed off, and I just don't even like want to really bother with it or anything. But uh. Yeah. So. But uh, in other news, Black Ops Zombies will be coming to Android. And you can see him right there doing the glitch. You know, once again, not really helping the team or anything like that. But whatever, he got to do the glitch. He got to do what he wanted. So, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, Black Ops, is go Black Ops Zombies is going to be coming to uh, the Android users out there. Um. You guys were super late to get it. I don't even know if you guys got the first zombies that hit iOS. Um, but, uh... Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know if this is a good thing. This is going to be your first zombie experience. I'm, I'm not an Android user anymore myself. I'm, uh... I'm an iPhone user. I'm very happy with my iPhone. Stuff like that. So, uh... Yeah, I don't really know about uh, Android anymore. I know they got. I know Android's getting up there though. It's got some pretty good shit. Uh, you know, has its little flaws, but you know, don't want to dive into that. But uh, I'm sure zombies will look great on some of the phones, like uh, the new Samsung Gal Galaxy S3. It'll probably look really beautiful on there. Um, the graphics. I don't know. I mean, they're mobile graphics. So how how good can you really get them? You know, <laughs> but uh. It does. It, it looks pretty good. It looks uh, pretty badass. So, hopefully, it will be awesome for you guys. Uh, maybe... Nah. No, because it's probably going to be a paid. Uh, there's no official listing on how much it will cost. And I do a better zoom to, so you can see what the guy's doing right there. Um, there's no official wording on how much it's going to cost or anything like that. But I'm guessing it's going to cost around... Uh, 3 dollars to $5.99, which is what, I, I believe when it first came out on iOS, it was $4.99. The older version, of course, I'm speaking of, because I haven't bought the newer version for iOS anymore. I don't really play uh, games anymore, but, uh, I mean, I do, but, you know, I have my favorites and my usuals. They're usually, like, a 
quick games, stuff like that. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll do some iPad, uh, iPhone type of thing, let you know what I'm playing on mobile devices, and if you guys are playing, you know, you could request me as a friend or whatever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I kind of talked about that in another video. So. Yeah. But uh, anyway, gameplay is coming to a close. So, uh, let me know how you guys think you're going to do in Black Ops 2 if you're picking it up. And, uh, let me also know, um, what you think about, uh, Zombies Hitting Android. Uh, I think it's a great expansion. It's smart on Treyarch's part. Or whoever releases it. I believe Treyarch would because, you know, Zombies is really a Treyarch, uh, type of thing. So, yeah. And so if you guys could, uh, comment, like, rate, and subscribe if you are not already. I'm going to be having a lot of great content coming out. Uh, pretty soon here, got a bunch of new series starting and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below, don't forget to let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys later, bye.